Hey everyone, welcome back to Brownlow Books. Um, I'm gonna do a book haul. If you saw the previous one, this is number two, this one. So I'll give you the backstory. <laughs> I, uh, I was very brave and did not cry during my COVID booster third shot. So I ordered myself books as a reward because I'm a child who needs incentive. <laughs> so um, apparently my order was bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> and um, yeah, book outlet where I ordered from put it into four different boxes. So I'm just doing each box as an unboxing on itself. So yeah, let's just, let's just get to it. All right. Oh, geez. Why are these short boxes so much harder than all the other boxes? I just rip it. <laughs> rip into the box like a savage. <laughs> All right, y'all ready for this? Okay. I like when I get books that have stickers that say pounds on them. I don't know why. It just makes me happy. It's kind of weird. If you haven't noticed, I'm kind of weird. So, Finding Colin Firth. I can't read backwards. Mia March. <laughs> um. Yeah, I um, I love me some Colin first. So when they're like, oh, it's around like these three ladies or however many ladies love of him, I was just like, I'm willing to do this for not much. It's book outlet. The books are cheap. I don't know. Moving on. Anti-racist ally. An introduction to activism and action. This is kind of a cute pink. Whoa. They're like really, really big on one page and then little tiny writing. That's interesting. Um, you know, we should all be trying to better ourselves even if we think we're okay. Because if you think you're okay, then you're definitely not. I said it. All right, moving on. We have a graphic novel, Beauty and the Beast. These are uh, dark tales. I have a few on my shelf. I have not read them yet. I just keep eyeing them because I'm like, graphic novels of like, dark princess things. I'm like, fuck yeah. Give me that. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> I thought there was a bent page and I was like, the fuck? Okay, a house in Fez. Building a life in the ancient heart of Morocco. Which is another, give me a, a, a weird place that you're living. This is very privileged of white people. All right, well, live, live in a cool place and I'm like, yes, give me that. It's different from where you normally live. I want to read about it. All right, moving on. What do we have? White Ivy by Susie Yang. I see people talking about this all the time online. I honestly couldn't tell you what it's about. I was just like, so many people say so many wonderful things about it. It's got sort of an aesthetic that I feel like I would enjoy. So I was like, why not give it a shot? I am very in not like, I do not discriminate at all when I'm buying books. I'm just like, yes, that looks interesting. Yes, that looks, I, I am totally judging them by their covers though. Not always, depends on the mood. Sometimes I'm just like, yeah, 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 okay. And other times I'm like, I think I want to get this one. I want to get this one. I want to get this one. Because they all sound interesting. But yeah, sometimes I just go by title and, and cover. Like this. <laughs> it's like a perfect example. An Appalachian summer. I'm like, Appalachian? All right. Summer? All right. Look at that pretty greenish cover. You got a nice little like log cabin over here. I'm like, into it. Into it. All right, keep going. If you lived here, you'd be home by now. Why we traded the commuting life for a little house on the prairie. See another memoir of someone being like, out of place. And probably white. Yeah, that fucker looks white. <laughs> so. Ooh, stuck. All right. Rewilding, meditations, practices, and skills for awakening in nature. 
I'm also a sucker for a nature book. I feel like this one might be a little like hippy dippy spiritual for me, whereas I'm more like tell me how to survive with only an axe. <laughs> so well, um, there's no no pictures. No, what's this? There's something in here. A fucking ad in my book. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. All right. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Death and other happy endings. So this is the kind of title where I just am immediately drawn in. Uh, so yeah. Girl's been told she only has three months to live. You know. Decides to stand up to people who are dicks. So. Love that. If she's dying, probably gonna end with me crying. We'll, we'll see what happens there. And then Honey and Venom Confessions of an Urban Beekeeper. Again, I don't know what it is. Beekeeping has been a thing on my radar. I cannot keep bees where I am. I have looked up the regulations for it and I do not have the proper lot size because it has to be like 200 feet from property lines or something. And I definitely don't have that. <laughs> But, um, is, yeah, a thing I'm interested in. <laughs> and then we have, if you saw my previous video, another one of these lovely, pretty, super reflective, pretty for the sake of being pretty on my shelves books. <laughs> Terrifying ghosts short stories. Yeah, that does not sound like a thing I'm actually going to read. This is purely for the aesthetic. Can I put the little stars? Aesthetic. Big old honker up there, and oh! <laughs> a chainmail jewelry book. I, uh. I make chainmail for my friend who runs a business. I'm like her little, like, per piece paid person <laughs> to help her when she's busy. Works for me. I got some time. It doesn't. It doesn't take that long now that I know what I'm doing for the two different things she does. That's all I do, like, right? And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can, like, maybe learn to do some other things on my own. I... They have some, like, very serious how-tos in here. <laughs> okay, so we'll deal with that later. It's so big, it's not gonna fit on my thing. And that's it. Boom. Done. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.